I'm Father Stephen Riley. The central mystery of our faith is the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. This is so important to our faith. In fact, St Paul says that if Christ has not been raised, then our faith is in vain and all of our preaching is in vain. But what evidence do we have that the resurrection took place? Well, I use the word evidence for a reason. We can't prove the resurrection of Jesus. Firstly, because it is something which lies out with the normal scope of human history. It's a completely unique event. But secondly, because the resurrection will always be a matter of faith. And so we should never seek to prove it. But rather, we could buttress our own faith with some evidence, especially if people challenge the possibility of the resurrection. The first thing we could point towards is the empty tomb which for many people is the greatest evidence. And certainly that is important, but if you like, it's a kind of a negative evidence. If Jesus had been in the tomb, if he had been discovered, or if subsequently then his body had been discovered, as, for example, we believe Peter's body has been discovered in Rome, then clearly the resurrection would not have taken place. It requires Jesus to not be there. But the fact he is not there opens the way to the resurrection, but in itself doesn't prove it. In fact, there were many ways of explaining what had happened from the very earliest times when people claimed that his disciples had stolen the body, for example. So that's a first important part of the evidence, but not crucial, perhaps. Probably the main piece of evidence is the number of people who saw Jesus after he'd risen from the dead. He had changed. They, they didn't always recognise him. He was the master of his own destiny and he, as the verb in Greek says, allowed himself to be seen, up fay. But he allowed himself to be seen by a lot of people, by Mary Magdalene, by the disciples after the resurrection, and also, as Paul tells us, and by 500 people who were all together at one time. That's an amazing number of people, and they are eyewitnesses to the resurrection of Jesus. And so when we come to the writing of the, the Gospels which record the resurrection of Jesus, we would recognise the eyewitness accounts of people who saw Jesus after his resurrection, which are reflected in those Gospel accounts. And think about it, if the story of the resurrection were to be made up, and written down such a relatively short time after the resurrection of Jesus, don't you think it would have been challenged by some of those 500 people who would have said, no, we didn't see him. We, this claim is false. And so the Gospels couldn't make things up without knowing that they were based in fact. Another two pieces of evidence might be interesting. The first is that the Gospels choose to tell us that Mary Magdalene was the first witness to the resurrection. And it's only through Mary Magdalene that the story of the resurrection came to the disciples who were able to come running to the tomb. If this was invented, there is no way that the Gospels would have chosen a woman as the first witness to the resurrection. Because, well, women were not trusted as witnesses. They couldn't be called to court as witnesses because they weren't to be trusted and therefore, if you were going to make that up, you would place a man at the scene of the empty tomb rather than a woman. The fact that a woman, Mary Magdalene, is placed there, I think is good evidence that this is what actually happened. And she met the risen Christ thinking he was the gardener. A final piece of evidence might come from those who witnessed to the resurrection of Jesus. There were eyewitnesses and who gave their lives in martyrdom. Again, if you were to make up a story Fair enough, you might stick to the story for a while, but if you had to go to your death because of it, then surely you would retract your story. And yet those people who had seen Jesus Christ after he'd risen from the dead, those apostles, Peter, and the many others, so many of them were prepared to die for what they saw. And surely we can accept their evidence as faithful witnesses and that our faith in the resurrection of Jesus can be shown to be well-founded.